Did you miss me? Bleach chapter 617, Return of the Gods, starts with a great color page of Aizen bound up, then we pick up with Ukitake being affected by the Kamikake. So much pain! The essence of Mimi Hagisama is now pouring out of every part of his face. I'm disgusted and repulsed and I can't look away. We then see the arm leaving Soul Society, heading for the Soul Palace. Goodbye everyone, I'll remember you all in therapy! At that moment, the quaking begins to stop as it appears Ukitake has successfully replaced the Soul King. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Cut to Bach, who doesn't understand the meaning of this sudden halt. Frankly, neither can Ichigo and his crew when they see what caused it. Now that's interesting. Mimi Hagisama is now holding together the broken parts of the Soul King, restoring balance to each of the worlds. You have no power here. Bach can't believe that something like this could escape his eyes. This causes him to get a tiny bit mad at the Soul King. You're happy. I hate that. He wants to know why the right arm of the Soul King is interfering with his plans. Is it because of his attachment to the Soul Society? He demands an answer out of him. Answer me! Back to Ukitake, who is now totally consumed as everyone looks on and wonders how long this will last. Soifan doesn't believe he is to be the complete substitute for the Soul King and figures they've only got enough time until his life force is drained. Nobody asked you, Patrice! Urahara is unsure of how long they have, but Ukitake is the substitute for now, so they must leave for the Soul Palace and find a way to stabilize everything. Let's rip this Bro, my new asshole! Yeah! 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 What the fuck are we talking about? Now back to Shunsui, who is waiting for a response from Aizen. He reveals to him the keys that will release his seals. He has been given permission to use only three of them. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker motherfucker! He's about to undo the seal on his mouth, but it jumps back to the lab where the gate isn't working because there isn't enough Ryatsu. God damn it! The now figures it's due to the loss of Ukitake and has a mini meltdown, but Lisa calms her down. Bring it in, baby. Then Mayuri decides he needed to show up as he has a solution to boost the quantity of Ryatsu. I feel like a f idiot. He just so happens to have a Ryatsu amplification machine hidden behind his equipment. This gets the gateway back up and running as Urahara says he should have used the machine earlier. Bitch, don't tell me what to do! Back to Shunsui who unlocks Aizen's mouth. He thinks two years of being sealed would keep anyone quiet, but he assumes Aizen is the exception. A voice reassures this assumption. You're Goddamn right. Aizen's foot steps forward as he wonders if he's gonna use two more keys. How are you? I normally don't answer that question, but since I respect your talent, I will tell you, I am fine. Good chapter this week with another awesome cliffhanger. Huge chunk of it was mostly dedicated to everyone reacting to Ukitake taking the Soul King's place, as well as trying to fix the gateway. The second part felt really unnecessary. Like, oh shit, we've run out of Ryatsu. Don't worry, Mayuri's got a machine that amplifies it. Neat. This could have been an opportunity to have other characters that aren't the visors to make their return and help with their Ryatsu. But it looks like now everything and everyone is ready and pretty soon they'll be going to the Soul Palace. Once there, I think obviously some of them will fight while others will try to help with replacing the Soul King because it was stated Ukitake won't be permanent because of the Kamikake using up his life force. I'm sure Mayuri and Urahara will have some plan. Yes, science! Now the stuff with Aizen was short but easily the best thing about the chapter. Shunsui's showing off dozens of keys that are keeping him locked up and he can only use three. Uses one, and fucking Aizen has the power to undo the rest. The man is such a troll, but he's amazing. I really wish the chapter focused on them more, especially since Aizen was the title color page, but even with the little screen time he got, he still managed to make the chapter his with a small display of his power and face. Next week, I want to see Aizen continue his trolling antics and fuck up shit once again. Some folks have a strange idea entertainment. So I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10. Ukitake is only a temporary solution to the Soul King's death, Urahara and the rest look ready to leave for the Soul Palace, and Aizen is back, just as planned. For my question of the week, what role do you think Aizen will play in the rest of the series? Is he gonna fight Bach, or will he finally become the new god? Favorite comments always featured in the next review, here are last week's winners. All right, that does it for me. Remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter and answer to my question in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more weekly reviews. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Hummingbird, and DeviantArt. I'll be back next week with more Aizen and Shinsui. Peace.